Welcome to Fantasy Victory Now with Paul Charchi and I'm Mike Durkin, and the time has finally come, Josh Gordon's first game back. So what's a reasonable expectation? I think a reasonable expectation is for him to perform well. <laughs> I'm, I'm really optimistic. The Browns offense has been overall better than we expected. Brian Hoyer's been more competent than we expected. And the fact that they've cobbled together any kind of a passing game, missing probably their, their best overall weapon, Jordan Cameron, for most of the season, and making do with Andrew Hawkins and... Miles Austin, gross. I mean, you know, now you get the player who was the best wide receiver in football last year, statistically, despite missing a couple of games at the beginning of the year. It's a huge opportunity for him. And I do believe that while this has evolved and, and turned into a run first offense, they're going to be a run first, throw deep, run first, throw deep kind of offense. And some big plays are really going to connect. And, you know, Josh Gordon's a special guy. And, you know, he's known this is coming. He stayed in shape. He's ready to walk on the field. The only downside. To Josh Gordon is that if you wanted a great deal on a new car in Cleveland, it's going to be a lot harder to get one from him. <laughs> yeah, people forget about that. Josh Gordon, the best receiver in football. The, last year. Yeah, and fantasy football's best receiver last year too. And yeah, I, I, it, you know, it won't be identical. It can't be as good as it was last year. Almost, it can't be because it was so good. But it's gonna. I still think you're. He's going to be a guy you're going to plug right into your starting lineup beginning this week, and you'll start him every week the rest of the year. His name is Jonas Gray, and he went berserk Sunday night. Four touchdowns, nearly 200 yards. Yeah. But in that Bill Belichick backfield, does it really mean anything going forward? Right, so there's no more confounding backfield than the ones that we get from Bill Belichick where it's one guy one week and another guy another week. But we've had some real consistency for, for this year on how Belichick works his running backs. And it's been Shane Vereen when they're behind in games, and it's been mostly Jonas Gray when they're ahead and, or even tied. And so we do expect to see a lot. The Patriots have been a really high-functioning offense basically since week five going forward and really believe they're going to be ahead in a lot of games this year, and that means they're going to be running Jonas Gray a lot. Yeah, I don't think he's a special back, but he's the lead back in a high-functioning offense, and that's going to give him plenty of opportunities, and I think he is a guy that you're going to want to target in free agency if he's available, and you're going to use him as an almost every week starter the rest of the way. All right, Arian Foster had his inevitable inactive week. Yes. Alfred Blue gets the duty. He carries 36 times for 156 yards. Yeah, big Does game. Does this indicate, with Foster being a little gimpy, kind of a two-headed back system going forward in Houston? How about a one-and-a-half-headed system, which sounds a little bit creepy, and we don't want to give any mad scientist ideas and trying to create a one-and-a-half-headed thing. But uh, here's where I believe you're still going to use Aaron, Arian Foster because he's really, really good, and he was having a fantastic season. But they have to know that he wears down all the time. This always happens. They, they were reticent to dial back his, uh, his overall touches. But, you know, these nagging injuries, ha they have to be smarter than that in Houston. And that means that, you know, Blue's proven that he's a capable back. And well, it took him 36 carries to get to 156 yards. But he's a capable back. And so I really do believe that we're going to see more of like a two-third, one-third. And Aaron Foster will get less use than he did but still could be the primary guy, and he's still going to be absolutely fantasy startable. All right, another week of sage advice. Follow him on Twitter, at Paul Charchian, and subscribe to us on YouTube, fantasyvictory.com.